You've tuned in to the Top 10 Gardener with garden expert, Ken Lane. Join him daily as he answers timely garden questions that are sure to make a difference in your gardens. Now welcome your host, Ken Lane. Our staff is very well educated, very knowledgeable. Uh, We've got two of them that are three, three that are Arizona certified nursery people, um, which is a huge it's they hard to get. That's yeah. hard. There's five of us because you and I count oh, too, right. you know. I There's know five of us. <laughs> Most garden centers don't even have one. Right. And we got five. <clears throat> this is where you know the Latin name, the the common name, how to design it into a landscape for the proper spacing, how mm-hmm. it's going to grow, how it's going to look one year, five year, ten year. It's intense. The the it's like the bar if you're an attorney. It takes all day to actually mm-hmm. take this test to be approved or not approved. And so it's just, right. yeah, Arizona certified nursery professional. professional. It's pretty intense. Yeah. So we have five on staff yeah. and then just our, our staff is very knowledgeable. We do a lot of training. We do a lot to inform them that, so they can help our customers. And that it's sort of important for people to know. It's not just you and I that have all oh, the no. knowledge. Or, no. It's the staff. I mean, I'm the weak know. link in the whole place because I'm running. <laughs> if electricity goes down or attorneys need to kind or accountants are doing or, or looking at supply chain and talking to vendors and what's going to come down the pipeline. Mm-hmm. I don't know what was delivered yesterday. <laughs> they do. So they're more in tune with the rhythm day to day. I'm more the rhythm of the seasonality of stuff. There so you go. anyway, yeah, good point. And I don't even know where that came up with. But anyway. I'm glad I'm here working with you and yeah. I respect your knowledge well, thank of what, you. what you bring to the table. I respect you too, dear. Well, thank you. But so tell me how, <laughs> how do you respect me the most? Let's go deeper knew, into this. I could have bet a hundred dollars. Every that man that's tuned that. in right now is wanting the same thing from his significant other. And we just want to know. <laughs> anyway, we oh. let's go to gardening. Yeah. Women, <laughs> women feel my pain. on me. All right. So last week we talked about evergreen shrubs and yeah. how important they are to have those evergreens in yeah. your yard. This week we'll cover the trees. Okay, so perfect. The, the trees it's, of winter. There it's time. Yeah, yeah, so definitely those evergreen trees that fill the space that you need in the wintertime in your yard. So I kind of divided it into sections and I thought I'd start with pines. Okay. Because uh, right now we have some gorgeous Austrian pines in the yard. So if you're looking for a a nice evergreen, get some good size to it. 30, 35 feet, 15, 20 feet wide. Um, Fast grower. I would say of the pines, they're probably one of the fastest. Would you agree? If not the fast, you can get a couple Mm -hmm. feet a year out of them. That's fast for any plant, but especially for evergreens. Mm -hmm. So that's the Austrian pine, also known as the Austrian black pine. Black pine, yeah. Pinus negris. Right. Yeah. Oh, very good, dear. You showed your Latin. Latin says pine. (laughs) Pinus is pine, <laughs> negris is black. Yeah, black okay. pine. <laughs> There's also the Bosnian pine, which um, they're all kind of cousins of each other. Yeah. So a little bit shorter needle, not quite as big a tree. Right, half size. Uh, and it's maturity, but another really one that does well. And then my favorite, which is the Oregon green pine. Oh. And I love this one because it fits into those smaller yards. Um, gets maybe 15 feet tall, yeah. five to eight feet wide. It has a shorter needle to it than the Austrian, but it's very dense, yeah. very lush. Super and that green. green is just, wow, yeah. that's green. So nice little tree for a lot of the yards around here. And all those you have in stock <clears throat> right now. So they're, mm-hmm. they're, of course, we're building up a lot like the Oregon green. Right. That makes a good Christmas tree. It's just so oh, perfectly sure. layered, shorter needle, dense. Mm-hmm. Just screams, you know, hug me. Of course, it's kind of pokey, but just, <laughs> well, it looks there. Fuzzy. There is one you can hug. Okay, uh, is the Vanderwolf pine? Oh, good. So we do have some lovely Vanderwolves in, kind of a variegated needle on it. We always kind of call it the teddy bear tree because you do you could go stroke it, hug it, and it's not going to poke on you. Yeah. Uh, so that's it looks like it's it's a pine tree that went to the hair <laughs> salon, <called> the hairdresser, <laughs> and got it got a do. Came back yeah. and went plant me it's yeah. it looks like that because you, you can't go buy it without touching it right. going, oh admiring it mm-hmm. it really is a pretty one um of course the spruce they do quite well in our area as well the colorado blue spruce is probably Sick. one that most people are familiar with um they have come out with the baby blue which really is a beautiful blue 
uh, for the, the spruce. It really keeps its color. It has that real silvery blue. Um, little smaller there again yeah. uh, for compared to the Colorado spruce. But a really pretty tree. I'm very impressed with how their uniformity and their size and their color. It looks like a <clears throat> Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. Only it's got bright silver. You put little Christmas lights on that out in the yard or you know miniature oh, lights. Beautiful. The thing is going to glow at night. Mm -hmm. It's so silvery blue. And the needles are, are about the same length, but there's more of them. Yeah. So it keeps, it has this perfect shape to it. Mm -hmm. And quite honestly, Colorado spruce, it's a great tree. It's the fastest growing of all the spruce, but it's too big for most yards. Yeah, the is. baby blue eyes, the backer eyes, mm -hmm. and some of these others, fat Albert spruce, mm -hmm. there's so much, they're uniform, they're, they're brighter colored yeah. and they don't get so doggone big. Easier in so, the landscape. Yeah. Definitely. And they're just as hardy as all the, as the native Colorado mm -hmm. spruce. Um, Black Hill Spruce, yep. which is another nice uh, short needle green, uh, a little on the slower growing side. And then, of course, Alberta Spruce, which is great if you're looking for a, a living tree or you like to decorate out in your yard. Yeah. They do tremendous in containers um, because they're so slow growing. They're easy to grow in a container. Yeah. You had some come in. They were <clears> the <throat> biggest oh, ones gorgeous. I've ever seen. They're taller yeah. than I am. Yeah. For an Alberta Spruce, this is a, this, if you've got really green thumbs, it might grow three inches a year <laughs> this thing is now taller really? than i am think how old this tree is yeah it's like instantaneous mm -hmm. spe spectacle yeah. it's just beautiful to get them that size is unusual and they are beautiful yeah i would agree and only found at waters garden, at waters garden center. center yeah 1850 truly, that's, truly that's the case <laughs> truly yeah right right so then we kind of went into the cypress um so we have the Blue Ice Arizona Cypress nice. does very well. Very pretty tree. We have one from uh, called Chaparral, which is a little more of a sagey green Arizona Cypress. Yeah. Uh, really nicely out there. We have Deodor Cedars and then Atlas Cedar. Uh, you, which, should, you should explain Atlas because most people don't know what that is. <laughs> so it's, Well, the, the Atlas, I think there's a huge one down at the courthouse. Yes, the, it's there? the statehood yeah. tree down on the right downtown Prescott on the courthouse. Mm -hmm. That is the statehood tree. They planted two of them back in 1914, and now they're like towering above the elm trees. Yeah, I don't think people even really see them sometimes. They're so big. They're so big. It's huge. <laughs> Um, but we also have those in a serpentine, so they've trained it to do like yeah. an S shape, and then also weeping, where it just kind of bends over and grows down. I love those; I think they're spectacular. Yeah. Uh, but nice silvery blue, um, just a really nice little layered tree. I think they're beautiful. Drought hardy as all mm -hmm. get out, and I'm sure that the original tree was brought <clears> by <throat> Conestoga wagon from the East Coast, well, probably by 1914 by, by train from the East Coast. <laughs> they brought them in and. And they planted it there uh, yeah. and it just kept going. So, you know, Ooh. they're tough. Right. So, but but all, all this, the Arizona cypress, that icy blue, the bright silver blue. So pretty. That is the prettiest native mm -hmm. you could plant out there yeah. that's so robust, that's this bright colored. Mm -hmm. So all those can be planted now. In fact, yep. this, you have your best selection of evergreens you can plant mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. It doesn't spring. We won't have this many evergreens that you can plant because it's time to put them in the ground. Mm -hmm. And so we've dedicated more space. We can get more of them this time of year. Right. Thank you, Lisa. We're out of time, just like that. Mm -hmm. A list of 10 evergreens. And there we go. Ken and Lisa Lane, the mountain gardeners and talking about evergreen trees. Be right back. Grow extraordinary succulents and cactus indoors. Water succulents are easy with lots of shapes, sizes, and colors. Whether you're looking for a small cactus for an office desk or a huge statement succulent in your living room, we have the perfect plant. Well, what are you waiting for? Extraordinary succulents and cactus await you at Waters. Visit Waters Garden Center in Prescott today or watersgardencenter.com to find the perfect succulent for your home and office. You're listening to garden expert Ken Lane, owner of Waters Garden Center in Prescott. Look for more tips, tricks, and garden shortcuts through Ken's website, additional shows of this podcast, read his weekly garden column, or follow him on Facebook, Instagram, at watersgardencenter.com. That's waters with two T's, gardencenter.com. <laughs> 